we've got a really, really busy week ahead. And whilst I'm here on this manic week, I'm going to be vlogging the entire thing. Please join me in welcoming the CEO of Gymshark. With generative AI, we've built a bit of a demo that we wanted to run you guys through. Ben Francis, MBE. I know, that's weird. <laughs> I know, you're far too young. Could you have just held on a couple more? Tonight, all dressed up, looking smart, because we're going to the Times 100 event, which is basically an event to celebrate the 100 fastest growing companies in the UK. Yeah, so I'm going to show you something that we're calling Gen Shark, and what we want to do is create essentially a virtual personal trainer that sits in your pocket. You will have a letter from our legal team on that, one, right? because <laughs> we never signed that off. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. It's currently seven o'clock in the morning and we've just stopped off at Starbucks for a quick breakfast before we go over to Google next. I had a nice little bacon sandwich with a touch of ketchup and a latte. We're just going to call an Uber, head over to Tobacco Docks and yeah, meet all the guys from Google before we get on stage. We're talking about a project that we're working on in combination with Google and Deloitte. So yeah, looking forward to it. Morning. How are you? So we're currently in the cloud stage room and this is where I'm going to be doing the talk with the dare in about an hour. So yeah, looking forward to it. And they've done a really good job of the setup here. It looks really nice. And I'm already all mic'd up. I'm ready to go. And our next guest is here to share how they're leveraging our platform and the Google Cloud Partner ecosystem to build with AI. Please join me in welcoming the CEO of Gymshark, Ben Francis. For those of you that haven't heard of Gymshark, we're a direct-to-consumer e-commerce uh, brand. We're, well, pretty much all of our revenue is purely from online, other than the one store that we yes. opened last year, which yes. so far is going very well, which I'm pleased about. But despite being a direct-to-consumer e-commerce brand, because of the fact that we've been a fast-growing brand, and we are still very much a startup, so much of our infrastructure has been sort of mishmashed together and sort of like sticky tape together. So that's why it was really important for us to work with Google to really help us sort of level up our, our data infrastructure. And, and ultimately, the main aim of the program is to offer a, an improved level of personalized experience for our customer. With all things that are sort of like new, what we try and do is we try to be as exploratory as we possibly can. So when, when Gymshark first started, there wasn't that many businesses that yeah. were purely doing e-commerce sales. There wasn't that many people that were heavily invested into social media and influencer marketing. And, and those, those were things for us that were really, really pivotal and important in our business that we just sort of had to take our time to explore. So with generative AI right now, we, are, we haven't launched anything, but we are in a purely exploratory phase. So I think Sam, who is over here, we've built a bit of a demo that we wanted to run you guys through um, on how we're thinking about how generative AI can help our business. Okay, all right, real time. All right, Sam, over yeah, exactly. to you. Yeah, so I'm going to show you something that we're calling Gen Shark. Which you will have a, le <laughs> you will have a letter from our legal team on that, by the way, because <laughs> we never signed that off. Yeah. So it's, it's a very, very uh, new prototype. It's literally only been going a couple of weeks. Now, Gen Shark already has, Ben mentioned it actually um, um, in one of the earlier questions, this training app, which is a great place to discover new workouts and to track your workout data when you're in the gym. And what we want to do is kind of extend this and create essentially a virtual personal trainer that sits in your pocket. So first of all, I don't know if you know, but there is a gym inside the Regent Street store. So let's pretend that's the gym I want to go to, okay? Where are the Gen Gymshark stores and how do I get there from Tobacco Dock? It needs to inherently know what Tobacco Dock is, realize that's a place and realize that it's a reasonable thing to want to do to travel from here to Regent Street. And then it also needs to go and make a downstream call to the Google Maps API to actually pull back the, um, the journey information. So let's imagine I've done that. I've now got to the gym. I need to work out what I want to train. And an obvious thing I would need to do is work out you know, what my recent performance has been. So let's ask that. Tell me about my recent workout performance and tell me the areas that I have trained the least. It needs to query that structured data, it pulls back the answer, turns that back into natural language, and it tells me that my chest and shoulders have been doing very good, which is good. Uh, back's okay as well. And the areas, perhaps unsurprisingly, lagging a long way behind my legs. 
So I've, I've been skipping leg day. <laughs> that's, that's great, right? Already we're getting really helpful information out from just asking a simple question. Maybe though, text is not the most helpful way to see this information. And perhaps maybe seeing this in a graph might be a bit more helpful. So let's try this. Plot a graph of legs data from six months ago to now. And hopefully what's gonna happen here is it's actually going to write the code. It's written the code that's required to create that graph. It's executed the car that code to create the graph and it's returned that back all in order to answer my question as best as it can. Last thing we obviously need a personal trainer to do is actually to recommend a workout for me, right? So let's see if you can do that for us based on this conversation. Based on this conversation, please recommend a workout for me. And hopefully given, you know, my legs, uh, it, it's gonna tell me to work on those, and it has done. So it says, yeah, you need to spend time on your legs, go and, go and do Gymshark's Get Down Low workout, which is one of the workouts that are in um, the training app. So that's Gen Shark. Um, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, as we, as we said, it's just a, sort of a early explorative sort of prototype, but we're pretty um, happy with the results we're yeah. seeing so quickly. So yeah, Adair, yeah, yeah. Ben, back to you. Thank you very much. I know that took about a, a couple of weeks of sitting under a table, not exercising your legs. Yeah. So uh, we're very grateful for that. Please join me in thanking Ben and Sam for sharing. Thanks so much, thank Ben. You. Really sure. appreciate it. So it is 10.45 and we have just finished at Google Next. It was really, really cool actually. I did a talk on what Gymshark's doing in terms of Google Cloud, generative AI, but then the wider conversations and the other people were talking about how they're using generative AI working with Google and Cloud. So it was a really, really interesting sort of event. So yeah, we've finished up here now. We're gonna head back into the city center. We're gonna get some lunch, we're gonna do some work. I think we're gonna be recording a video and then I need to do some prep for my Prince's Trust talk, which is later tonight. and then I've got an event for the times tomorrow as well. So it's currently what time are we on? Half five? It's currently quarter six and we are walking to the Prince's Trust event, which actually isn't too far from the Regent Street store. We're sort of walking into quite a posh part of London. So yeah, we're going to do the Prince's Trust event, which I'm really looking forward to. And it is all about raising funds for the Prince's Trust, but also people getting more involved and helping a lot of the young people with their business ideas. So yeah, we're just walking in now, and I'm really looking forward to this event. Yeah, exactly. Is this your business, is it? Yeah. This is really nice. These are uh, like squat bands sort of here. Yeah, yeah. the fabric here. No, like, when did you start? Uh, I started yeah. during lockdown. Oh, did you? Oh, so, so yeah. nice. We're fairly was, new then. My plan was to be a personal trainer. You can say you're in good nick. Yeah. <laughs> when lockdown came, my, cancel, my lessons all got cancelled and then yeah. I wasn't able to get any online ones at the time yeah. because the whole Zoom stuff didn't start at the time. Yeah. So then I was thinking, what's the next best thing to do? So what, what does LE stand for? It's Leo. So oh, oh, I see. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh. So I wanted it to make it personal to me yeah. without having my name plus all of it. My name yeah. is yeah. So my star sign is a Leo as well. Oh, is it? Oh, sick. So yeah, so that's how I wanted to connect it to myself personally. Is it men's and women's? Yeah, so this is the women's section. So it's been going well. It's very up and down though with the seasonal changes. It's hard, it's hard now though. Yeah. It's hard now. It's because of everything that's going on in the world and yeah. cost of living and you know. Did you find any when you started? A while ago. Did you find any like similar sort of struggles with yeah. that one? Well, we go like we, we go ages without any sales whatsoever. Yeah. And you sort of think like because the hardest bit is, isn't necessarily the growth, it's the consistency. Yeah. So it's like, you'll have like a really good day and you'll think, oh, I've cracked it. And then nothing will happen for like three weeks and you'll be like, oh, what have I done wrong here? So that was the thing for me in building that consistency and that comes through obviously product. Because when you sell once, that person probably having a great day, like they love the product, but they might not buy for another six months. And, it's, and that's why it takes time to like build that up. And then when you get that momentum, I always say that one sale a day, so seven sales a week, one a day, is better than like 15 on one day and nothing on the other six. Keep going, man. That's it. That's amazing. Congratulations. It's lovely to meet you. That's cool. Have a good evening. See you around. Uh, yeah, Ben Francis, MBE now. Well, I know, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're far too young. Could you have just held on a couple more years? Oh, well, I couldn't believe that. I was over the moon when it came through. So, yeah, that was, that was proper special. Well, at least you know yeah. you peaked at 31. Yeah. <laughs> The Princess Trust, of course, is a young person's charity, so I think we need to know when you started becoming a husband. I don't know. You're like... 5'11". You're like... 
five twelve. No, I'm at least five twelve. <laughs> no, I'd say six foot. Well, I don't actually know. No, I, I mean, I'm quite a tape measure. Why? You know when we left you earlier outside Nando's? Yeah. And I heard someone and they walked past. <laughs> and I didn't know who they were talking about. Yeah. But they said something like, oh, it's not even that tall. If he can be a billionaire under six foot, then anyone can. Who said that? <laughs> just some guy that walked past. <laughs> I thought, I wonder who they just walked past. So, tonight, we're all dressed up, looking smart, because we're going to the Times 100 event, which is basically an event to celebrate the 100 fastest growing companies in the UK, which Gymshark was in several years ago, we're not anymore, and we're going to celebrate those companies and I'm gonna do a little bit of a talk, we're having food, and basically just have a good time. So it's gonna be a great event. I first came here years and years ago when we originally won the Fast Track 100. So it's a bit, it's quite cool to be able to come back and it's a, the British History Museum, or the British Museum, which is an absolutely brilliant location. So yeah, very much looking forward to tonight. So I'm gonna insert into this video now where we won the award several years ago. I'd like to ask the co-founder, Ben Francis, and the chief executive, Steve Hewitt, to receive the award for Jim Shark. Before this, I was a delivery driver at Pizza Hut, so this is a little bit further away from there. Um, <laughs> And this is also my first proper corporate event, so, um, hi everyone. Um, that, that's absolutely amazing, I'm going to take a picture of it. Look my dad, he'll go skip. Look at this, for a venue. It's an art event. Oh my god. But at the start, I'll just ask you your name and company and job title and things like that, so you can just introduce yourself, that's great. Gymshark is a predominantly online direct to consumer gymwear brand. Gymshark's grew through, you know, really investing that. Last October, Gymshark opened a flagship store on London's iconic Regent Street, which includes an exercise room as well as showers and a juice bar. What more could you possibly want? Ben, please come up to the stage and share a few thoughts with us. <laughs> So congratulations everyone for being here today. Being here means you're clearly incredibly successful and have done an amazing job over the last few years. And particularly the last 18 months have been really, really tough, right? There's been more uncertainty in the economy and in the world than probably ever, and it seems like that may even continue. So to achieve what you've achieved and again to be sat in this room today, despite everything that's, that's gone on, I think you should all be incredibly, incredibly proud of. Gymshark was actually on this list several years ago, and it was a really pivotal moment for our business because we were really well known in the fitness space and we you know, achieved a load of brilliant things. But being on this list gave us a level of PR that we never had before, and it really put us on the map. So after being on this list, we could hire people that previously we couldn't hire, you know, when we were starting to do more things on social media, more events, more newspapers, particularly the times were picking it up. I implore all of you to really take advantage of being on this list. Shout about it, tell people, be proud of it, because it can really help elevate your business, just like it did to Gymshark five, six years ago. All of the mistakes that we have made is when we haven't followed our gut instinct, and we haven't paved our own path. When we've been looking at what other people are doing, we've been studying what they're doing, and thinking maybe we should do that, the times when we've done the most brilliant decisions and we've, you know, we've, we've made the most special moments in our history have been when we have paved our own path, followed our instincts and just taken a leap of faith. Keep building your incredible businesses, keep pushing through those hard times and use the resilience that you've inevitably always already built into yourselves and your own businesses to grow through what will inevitably be a difficult time to most people but genuinely, a heartfelt congratulations from me. You have all done so incredibly well and you should be incredibly proud of yourselves. So, congratulations.